हाय बड़ी दिव्या पंडित सो यर आई कम विथ नवरात्रि स्पेशल नवरात्रि स्पेशल वीडियो इज फॉर स्पेशली दो पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू अवेकन द इनर पावर सी माँ दुर्गा वॉज द मोस्ट पावरफुल एनर्जी फीमेल एनर्जी एग्जिस्टेड इन द यूनिवर्स स्टिल एग्जिस्ट इन all us women in my womb healing course i do uh, teach people how to use uh, the durga ma durga energy you know to heal yourself because if your womb is powerful everything is powerful let me tell you we are you know somewhere lacking uh, that energy in us or energy around the universe because that is why there is so many uh, you know uh, things happening around the world which are Uh, literally we are there are so many things happening to women all over the world right but let me tell you every human being be it a male or a female has both the energies in it both the balance like yin and yang same way we have female and male in male also and female and male in women also so i feel the energy of ma durga the energy of the female deity is very very important not just to women to men also that is why there is so much of imbalance that is why we are facing all these things this year because somewhere the imbalance of energy has created all this there was there is no respect to women there is no balance between men so to create that proper perfect balance we do need the energy of ma durga and the worship and the manifestation with her these 9 days in navratri you are going to manifest for yourself in very very simple ways see everyone in navratri does uh, whatever rituals they their culture permits right they will read mantras they will do the ritual they will do you know they will call small little girls home to uh, uh, give prashad you know things like that we all do in our own way right so the things that i am going to mention the remedies i am going to mention now the six remedies that i'm going to mention now is are very very simple very very easy to do and very very effective and powerful to manifest so the first one i am going to talk about is now we have 9 days of navratri right the 9 days we are going to start from the first day the first day is always the day when we start the ritual start the mantra start the puja right so the first day if you do something that will remove negativity out of your life so the next next uh, few days the till the ninth day is going to be very easy to manifest what you want because you cleared out your negativity on the first day only right so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take 21 coconuts 21 coconuts per person i know what you're going to ask per person 21 coconuts is not for the whole family 21 coconuts is for one person okay 21 coconuts for one person you are going to remove it from head to toe okay okay and after that you are going to take it outside your house you are going to take a bowl or you keep some kind of bricks whatever is possible okay whatever is possible you put a lot of camphor use more camphor put a lot of camphor and burn the coconut on the camphor now see it depends it might not burn fully it might just go black so just don't bother as much as it burns okay till it subsides you take everything and just throw it in the public dustbin that is how you going to remove your negativity the second upaya that i'm going to tell you remedy i'm going to tell you is for manifestation of money okay from the first day only you can start you can take a uh, pan leaf betel leaf you're going to put a little uh, saffron kesar on it and you're going to keep it in your altar or mandir wherever you sit and you do your puja and jap okay you're going to keep it over there you're going to pray upon it every day okay you're going to pray upon it now on the first day you're going to sit and pray upon it then fold the pan keep it in your locker keep it in your locker money locker this will manifest a lot of money in your life secondly if the pan leaf goes dry later on okay which it will okay even after the navratri on any thursday or friday you can change it you can throw that one and you can keep a new one okay now where to throw it's always good to dig a hole and put it in mother earth which i always say or put it on people tree okay now the third upaya the third upaya is again very simple one again you are going to take a small bowl you are going to add a little honey in it okay you are going to buy 
ether. You know ether, that uh, Indian uh, perfume which you get. Okay, in any any worship shop, any any shop where you get all the stuff of uh, puja, right? Uh, you take ether, you take honey, you present it every day to the goddess. Every day. I want every day different, okay? Not the yesterdays, you can't continue it today. Now, every day keep it only little and take a very small bottle of ether so that every day you will, for nine days, you're going to present it to the goddess. That honey and then ether, which you're going to keep it in front of Ma goddess, okay, Madhurga. You're going to present it the same in the morning when you do your puja, you do your mantras, you do whatever your ritual. In the evening, you're going to feed it to everybody in the house. If you're a couple, you will feed it to both of y'all. Both of y'all are supposed to have it. The ether bottle you're going to use little bit on Mata and every and everybody else in the house have to finish that bottle. For nine days, nine small bottles of honey and Honey, you can bring a big bottle and you can keep a spoon every day. That is okay. Either you have to get one small bottle every day for nine days. Okay. That you have to do. This Now what will this do? This will repair relationship as a family. If you are as a family not getting along, it will do very well. It will do very well for people who are married or who are in a relationship. Very good for repairing a relationship. Secondly, people who are wanting to get married, it's amazing for them. Another good thing for this also is if you're trying to open your money blocks and find a job. This also is very good for that. So anything to do with your material life, emotional life, yes, it's very good to buy. Also, do not forget in Navratri, you are supposed to chant Hanuman Chalisa, Ram Sotra which is very, very effective in these nine days. So when you're keeping the honey and the itra, you can sit and chant your Hanuman Chalisa, which will remove all kinds of blocks from your life. Every day, if you can't do many times, just do one time. Okay? That is something very, very important. Now, the third remedy. The third remedy is... Sorry, I think I've given you this was the third remedy. The fourth remedy. The fourth remedy... You are supposed to do it on Ashtami and Naomi. Ashtami and Naomi, take uh, raw rice, add a little red food color to it, okay? Uh, mix it, make it red. Keep it on your altar, okay? Now, you are going to take nine diyas. You can take normal earthen where mitti ka diya, okay? You light nine diyas of ghee around that rice. You are supposed to put on the rice, you are supposed to either put Shri Yantra, or you're supposed to put Mata's photo or statue. Okay, this is going to, this you're supposed to do only for two days on Ashtami and Naomi. Okay, these two days if you do this, you will see the shift in your entire areas of your life. Your money, your relationships, your, you know, the whole energy of the house. Any kind of block your children must be having, your husband must be having, or you must be having. I'm talking about male, female, both both can do it. It gets a great shift in your life. And sit down, chant mantras, do Hanuman Chalisa. Put a very strong intention into it. Something I forgot to mention in the honey and uh, itra remedy is you can write down your intention. Write down your intention uh, with a red pen on a paper. Put it uh, under the honey bowl whenever you put it on your altar. Same thing you can do with this when you put your red rice. Just put the paper uh, over there written. If This is for people who can't actually uh, imagine everything. So if you're very good in imagining, you don't have to write. So on Ashtami and Naomi, you can sit and do this. The honey thing you have to do all nine days. So on nine days, if it is difficult to imagine, you just write down your intention and keep it under the honey book. That's very, very effective. Very, very super duper effect. Okay. Now, the next upai. The next upai, the remedy is to... Mata is... Durga Ma is associated with red color. Okay. So, if you can donate all nine days, all nine days something red. Now, I'm not talking about fruit or food. I am talking about clothes. Mata is very fond of clothes, dressing up. So you are going to donate either a dupatta, a chunri like this, okay? 
a chunri like this every day to any female especially a younger female is good if you see if you go and see in these puja shops you get those chunris you know mata ki chunris you get you can donate that or you can donate a dress if you can afford it it will be even better be that will be remove your money blocks nine days nine dresses so every day one dress you can even donate a blouse piece red color blouse piece or a top or a t-shirt or something red that one person can wear it is going to be amazing because whatever problems are there in your life whatever problems are there will be they will go away by in these 9 days if you do this every day one red thing you will donate you will see the difference in your life after these 9 days all your problems will go away especially for people who are going through a lot of issues right now there is diseases there is money blocks there is so much happening nowadays this is very very effect okay now let's talk about the last remedy the last remedy is basically for people who are not finding a job people who are into government jobs and they are trying for government jobs people who are trying to get into politics okay people who are trying to get into politics this is also for people who are having a lot of loans on their head if you have a lot of loans on your head remember this is a very 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 simple and a very effective remedy you are supposed to take masoor ki dal masoor ki dal is the one with the skin on the full one okay the full one one and a half kg every day in all nine days you are going to take that dal how much ever your pocket permits you are going to take it around your head for seven times clockwise and you are going to donate it anywhere to a poor person is always better to do, donate okay just donate to a poor person whoever can cook and eat normally we give it to the mandir but more than that i feel it is always good to give it to somebody who will make and eat it okay remove it from your head and you will see and donate it and you will see the shift it gets a lot of shift it's very good for loans also because nowadays people are cribbing a lot because everybody is gone into you know uh, this lack of money and taking loans and not being able to repay it very very good for that very good for jobs for common jobs for normal jobs it's very very uh, effective it also removes all the money blocks in your life so these were my remedies for you all and i hope you all liked it please comment in the box and tell me in the comment box and tell me whether affected you know i always read all your comments and uh, please let me know share this channel share this video with your family friends so that more people can benefit and i'm coming up with more okay call me for paid appointments only email me for paid appointments only and follow me on my twitter on my instagram on my facebook because i put a lot over there contact me for my workshops my workshops are coming up every month i have womb healing every month i have ancestral healing i have hudu i have crystal tarot i have a lot of workshops so do contact me if you want to learn and that's all goodbye god bless bye 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 bye